so I've been getting wonderfully lost uh, in the box of tricks and been having some really nice times with the uh, the cello slide and um, the kind of so giving a kind of drone. I like drones in general. There's lots of drony type things on the box of tricks, um, and so they've just basically started it off with that. Okay, so he just does that for a really long time. So I just played around with, and I, I really love this feature um, where, because I wanted you to be able to get the expression that you can get out of a cello um, by, you know, basically fading in, uh, bringing up and down the level um, so that it just feels like, so you can automate that, so you can play that. Um, so then I can kind of play. Yeah, so I just wanted to be able to do that. Um, so, yeah, so I just played around with the, the bowing, nice bowing sound of the cello. It's very, very, like, I love ponticello. That's when you play kind of close to the bridge, I think. And it gives us this lovely, lovely kind of eerie, um, whispery tones. Um, so I really, really love that. So I'm just, I was just playing along, like, rising melodies. And it's very simple, actually, what I've done, but I really like it because I love the sound so much. And I want them to breathe. Um, and then I played around with the Embira, of course, because I love the Embira. And I played around with the Jammer, because I love the Jammer. Obviously, you've probably seen the Jammer by now. Um, it's really great. So I'm just playing in um, different... Uh, so I set it to a nice swing. Um, so you can hear the Embira and the Glockenspiel there. It's just so nice, because it just feels like you can... You know, I'm a solo artist, so I'm just sitting here on my own most of the time, and it's sort of great to be able to just jam along with something that feels like it's kind of responding to you. I really love it. And I really, 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 really love uh, this, so I probably would end up kind of automating this strum. So the thing about the, um, the Embira, so I'm playing a note, but with the Embira, <laughs> So we have an Embira, but not all of us are lucky enough to have an Embira. Um, so here it is. So you can see um, it's got octaves. Ding, 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 ding. And the lovely thing about it is so you can play um, the same note. So you can do that, but you're kind of playing multiple octaves all at the same time. So we spent a very, very long time sampling all of that. Um, <laughs> So that you can play, so you can, if you press strum, and I'll just turn it up a bit, and then, so you can go up, which you can't do on an Embira, because if you did that you'd bend all the tines, so it's kind of better than an Embira. Um, no. And then you can but you all go, so go down. See? Very nice.